With the latest Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform, smartwatches take on a whole new life where performance is guaranteed and companies can focus on putting in great features for their latest smartwatches. So today we're taking a look at Movoy's latest rugged smartwatch that has one impressive and long list feature to offer. So will they be any good? Welcome to a review of the Movoy TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Movoy TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. So today's watch was provided to me by Movoy for review, so let's check out all the features that's on this watch and see if they suit your needs. The Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS is the premium smartwatch from Movoy and retails at a flagship price of USD 300 and that's about 1,200 Malaysia Ringgit, competing closely with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, so if you're considering an alternative to the Samsung smartwatch, maybe check out the review here and consider getting this watch from the links in the description below and it'll definitely help out the channel a lot. So comparing this watch to the TicWatch E3 that we've looked at a couple of weeks back, the new Pro 3 Ultra GPS is definitely the more premium option, with a more rugged, polished and professional build. The watch feels more solid and has a weightier feel to it, but it doesn't feel heavy. So coming in at only 41 grams. So this watch is built up to military 810G standard, which means the watch can withstand extreme temperature changes, is dust resistant, and can also withstand very high pressure changes. So the display also now comes with Corning Gorilla Glass to give it the extra scratch and shatter resistant. So this time round, the bezel of the watch comes with the minute marking and now adds a nice rugged look to this watch itself. The screen here is also larger at 1.4 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454 so finally we're gonna get OLED here. It feels plenty sharp but I still personally think that it could just be a little bit more pixel packed into it since the screen size is also larger this time. However, comparing it to the screen of the E3, this one is definitely much much better, especially with that AMOLED display. So Movoy not only gives you an AMOLED display but also includes an FSTN LCD display that sits on top of the AMOLED display solely for the use in Essential Mode. So if you're not familiar with Essential Mode, what you see here currently is the FSTN LCD and this works very similar to the likes of G-Shock watches in the past and it gives you very good contrast. So you can see that there's no backlight on now and I can still see the watch face very clearly especially under bright sunlight. So this is especially good if you want to conserve battery and you want to go for very long heights, day long heights and this will be very good for you. Plus essential mode also boosts the battery quite a lot up to 45 days. So on one side of the watch, you're going to get uh, some speaker grills and on the other side, you're going to get two buttons for you to navigate around the watch. And below there, you're going to get complete array of sensors which also includes the 24 by 7 heart rate monitor uh, as well as the SPO2 monitor. So Movoy also uses a standard universal charger for all their watches and it sits very nicely in this indentation that they have uh, to ensure that the charger doesn't move around. So the watch band that Movoy uses is also not something normal. It's actually called Fluoro Rubber Strap, which is not some standard rubber strap uh, other watch brand gives you. So Fluoro Rubber is uh, apparently widely used in aircraft. Personally, I'm not an aviation expert, so I'm just gonna take their word for it. And if you're the type that fancy a different watch band style, the Pro 3 Ultra uses a 22 millimeter quick release strap, so you can swap out your watch band easily. So personally, I think the watch band feels ultra smooth and soft, uh, very easy to move around. It's not as soft as the E3 but still plenty soft and it's also very easy to uh, wear so if you put it inside the buckle it's super easy to put into this buckle so that's very nice. 
So battery life on the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra is actually pretty good considering that this is a featured pack watch. So at the full charge, the watch will give you about 72 hours or about 3 days of use and comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 which only gives you about 40 hours of use. So in real life, I use it to go to bed, use the 24-7 heart rate monitor, got loads of notification and it lasts me a good 2.5 days. And I'll pop it onto my charger when my anxiety kicks in. So personally, I've not pushed it past the three day mark. So two and a half days is about pretty much there for me. And also if you're in the wild and you know, won't have access to a charger anytime soon, you can always put the watch into essential mode and it will give you an insane 45 days of battery life at a full charge. And it turns off the main AMOLED display and you will use this low power FSTN display to tell you the date, time, battery and your footsteps. So the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra just like the E3 runs on Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform and also runs Movoi's dual processor system. So if you scroll through the overall watch interface, you can feel that it's just so ultra smooth experience. If only Movoi would include a 120Hz screen to further exaggerate the fluidity of this watch, then it is fantastic. So this watch also comes with a Bluetooth 5.0 chipset for all your syncing action between the watch and the phone, 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage. And since this is essentially a watch with Google Play Store, you can also download any apps just like the ones that I mentioned in the E3 review. You can download Nav Music, Spotify, and if you use Nav Music, you can load up all your favorite music and you can go run outside with your watch and your earbuds so you don't need to bring your phone. Uh, you can also download apps like Strava to track your fitness, so that's very cool. Cool. The watch is also rated to be IP68 dust and water resistant, so that's the highest standard uh, for IP rating. So you can definitely bring this watch swimming and it should hold up pretty well. So from my test, you can also get notification for calls on this watch, but you cannot answer them on your watch itself. You can pick them up, but you have to talk through your phone. So you can't use the speaker and mic uh, combo on your watch to answer calls. So what's new with this watch compared to the E3 is that it tracks uh, more advanced heart rate uh, information. So like your irregular heartbeat, uh, as well as your atrial fibrillation, uh, which is very similar to Apple Watch EKG feature, but I'm not too sure how they do it here because you don't need to complete the circuit just like the Apple Watch. But instead all of this feature is part of their 24 seven heart rate monitor and it will alert you if you have irregular heartbeats as well as atrial fibrillation. So there's also another feature to check the mental fatigue or energy level health, which all uses the HR monitor to work out these parameters. So those are some of the new features you get with this watch. So as standard, you're also gonna get some built-in compass, GPS, barometer, altimeter, 24 seven heart rate monitor, SPO2 monitor, sleep tracking, and also stress monitoring. So there's plenty of stuff going on with this watch uh, at this flagship price point. So we're not disappointed here. So similar to watches with Wear OS 3, this watch will feel very familiar if you're familiar with that OS. So from the home screen itself, tap and hold on the main screen to change uh, the watch faces. And there are quite a lot of uh, watch faces that you can choose uh, out of the box. And the good thing about Movoi is that they also include this see more watch faces here. And if you click into it, you get to just choose any one of this and it's already all included inside the watch. So you don't have to turn on the app and sing any new ones, but you can also go into the uh, app store to get many, many more watch faces. So these are just some of the built-in ones. So swiping from the left, you get into the Google Assistant page. So here you can just cl click and you can talk to Google Assistant. And there's also some standard questions that you can click here uh, in order to use your assistant. But if you don't want to swipe left, you can also press and hold on the top button here and it will also activate Google Assistant. So swiping from the bottom, you're gonna bring up the recent notifications. So if you have notification activated, you're gonna get all of them here. And if you swipe from the right, this is where you go into widget mode. And there's quite a lot uh, going on here and you can customize all of the different widgets inside the app to only choose the ones that you like to use. Just to run through a couple uh, ones with you. So this one is your health information. It tells you about your steps. So the next one you're gonna see here is the weather widget. So here you can uh, take a look and see what are the temperature likes uh, and information about weather if you need to know them. So it's pretty comprehensive, right? And if you swipe to the next one, this one I have my calendars and 
events reminder. Uh, next, I'm going to have my heart rate. So this one is going to track all my heart rate uh, activities. I can click into it and see more information and it will activate the sensors at the back. And it does tell you quite a lot of information here, which is pretty awesome. Next to that, I've also included a calculator so I can you know, do very quick calculations on the fly. And after that, I also have a hand wash uh, reminder. So this one will calculate and count down 20 seconds so that you wash your hands the right amount of time. Uh, unlike the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch actually activates this automatically. But in this case, you have to press it with your dirty hands. So in order to access the menu, all you're going to do is press on the top button here and you'll go into the menu. And inside the menu, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. So similar to when I checked out the E3, uh, the top part is where Movoi puts in their tick apps. So you're going to get sports tracking, uh, your heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, oxygen, uh, which is your SpO2 tracking, uh, Zen, which is to help you relax, uh, tick brief, tick hearing, tick care, and so on and so forth. And scrolling down a little bit more, this is where you're going to get the Android uh, apps. So you're going to see some of them that are repeating, for example, heart rate, uh, workout. So that's the problem with Android. And if you are OCD and you don't like duplicated apps, then find a way to turn off the skin for Movoi. If you press and hold on the bottom button here, this will activate the additional menu settings here. So you can use speaker draining. So this one will play a noise or high pitch noise that shoots out water from the microphone. Uh, you can also go into essential mode. Uh, you can restart your watch or power off your watch and so on and so forth. And if you press once on the bottom button, it will go into the sports mode so you can track uh, any of your workouts. There's 20 plus that Movoi has here and you can pick any one of them and it will start looking for GPS. And if you don't want to go with GPS, just press start and your workout will be tracked. So finally, swiping from the top, you're going to get uh, like a command center thing. So starting with the first one, you're going to get silent your watch. And then the second one will be uh, finding your phone. The third one will be turning on the flashlight mode. Uh, fourth will be uh, enter or exit the theater mode. Then the next one will be do not disturb mode. And the last one is airplane mode. So at the top here, you're also going to have a settings button. So if you click into that and you go into the entire settings of your watch and you can play around with them. So that's basically all of the watch interface of the Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. So there are two apps that you can mainly use with the Movoi Tick Watch Pro 3. Uh, Ultra and the first one will be the Movoi app and if you go into the Movoi app basically it's the first page here that is the entire main thing and you get to track your activities here how uh, active you are and so on and so forth so uh, I haven't been exercising of course with the COVID and everything uh, if you go down here you get to see your sleep tracking so uh, last night I've clocked in about 5 hours and 50 minutes and it tells you a lot of details about uh, when you are awake uh, when you hit REM sleep and deep sleep so it's very comprehensive and if you go down a bit it tells you about your sleep heart rate and your sleep blood oxygen which is really intuitive and very easy to use it gives you a lot of insight about your health uh, if you go down you can also see the same thing you can see your heart rate uh, this one is where it will triggers the irregular heartbeat as well as the atrial fibrillation uh, of course there's no way to test that unless uh, you have those issues to be tested uh, next will be the SPO2. So this one is basically uh, all of the things you can track inside the Movoi app. But if we go back and go to the next app, which is the Wear OS app. And inside here, you can see uh, there are a couple of things additional you can do. Uh, the first one will be changing the watch faces. So if you click on more here, this is what you will see inside your watch as well. So you don't necessarily have to come inside here to change the watch faces. Uh, you can actually do that in your watch. Going down, you can control the tiles. So these are the widgets that you can put inside, which I showed you earlier. And you can also add additional ones if you like. Uh, there are a couple more that you can select from. Uh, this is where you can toggle your notifications. So in my case, I've turned them off. Uh, next, you can also choose which type of calendar that you want. Because I'm using an iPhone, so I get Apple or Google. Uh, next will be Google Assistant. So this is just some uh, settings for it. And if you go into advanced settings, this is where you can check out the battery uh, of your watch. And it will give you a forecast of roughly how many days more your battery will last which is very helpful. 
And lastly, you can also turn on or off your always on screen. So that's basically the features you get inside the Wear OS app. So in terms of the sensor accuracy on the Tick Watch, uh, it's also really good. And I think that technology has become very mainstream that every watch brand has somewhat accurate sensors with very little variations. So in my test, most times I'm going to get just a couple of percentage variant for the uh, SPO2 and only a few BPM difference for the heart rate sensor. So it's a pretty accurate watch overall. So another great implementation by Movoi, and since it runs Wear OS 3, I think it's a pretty awesome pair of watch to pick up. And if you ask me, there isn't anything to complain about this watch. And if I were to find something to improve upon, I hope that one day we're going to get a smartwatch that will last through an entire week. And also I wish that the screen was just a tad bit sharper. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.